So in the series of learning programming in C, in the previous video we have discussed data types. That was part one. In that video we have discussed the primitive data types, or you can say primary data types, or I can say built-in data types, fundamental data types. Right? Those were int, float, void, double, and character. Right? But there we have discussed in that video all about these data types, and uh, I have also drawn a table at uh, in the last of that video that shows the type of the data, memory the data type will take, like the storage one byte or two byte or four byte, the format specifier, and uh, that range of that data type. We need that table in this uh, video also because I have got some questions in comment box and on my Instagram uh, Instagram account also, like when we are printing that data like we are printing int data when we we initialize some value to that data and we go to answer some other value why it is so in character also we are getting some other value so that uh, today that is why i am making this video we'll discuss in this video that thing i'll give you some examples also proper example i'll take and then we'll discuss the output of that uh, uh, example uh, that uh, line right why you are taking different uh, answer from that initialization uh, from the value you have initialized in your program why you are getting different answer right that we will discuss in this video so uh, and this video is brought to you by an academy because an academy has launched uh, new batches uh, for the aspirants preparing for uh, csir ugc net june 2021 you will get here the complete course for csir net exam for june 20, 2021 exam right and uh, these batches are like they'll teach here uh, all the subject like life science, uh, chemical science and mathematical science. And uh, these batches are both in uh, Hindi and English. So if you are comfortable in Hindi, you can watch those videos. If you are comfortable in English, you can watch those those videos. So you have the facility to choose uh, your favorite teacher and you can watch, you can attend their classes. Right. And uh, this is what it's a paid subscription because uh, you will get complete structured course for your CSIR net exam. But if you will use code, you will uh, get 10% discount on your uh, paid subscription, right? So uh, if you are planning to uh, appear for uh, June 20, 2021 exam, then it's better to start your preparation early. And the best faculties at N Academy are going to teach you. And the batch may be in Hindi language, may, uh, like the classes would be conducted in Hindi language. And they'll also provide you notes, but the notes they'll provide you that would be in English uh, language only. So if you are interested, you can go for it. You just have to download an Academy app and uh, you just have to get the subscription of the batch you want. They'll show you the detail, right? So I'll uh, provide you all the details and the link as well as the referral code in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. So now let us continue our discussion on data types in C. In this uh, video, I'm going to discuss about int with proper example and uh, some uh, diagrammatic represent representation also. See, I'm See, in the context of 16-bit compiler, see my uh, system on my system, if I find if I uh, find the size of the int, that uh, gives me 2 bytes, right? Maybe in your system, if you find the size of int, it will uh, give you 4 bytes. So, I am discussing this, uh, the lecture in the context of the 2 bytes, like the int is taking 2 bytes memory, right? And long int, uh, long is taking 4 bytes of memory, right? And short int also taking somewhere it's it will take one byte and in, on some machine it will take two bytes. Now, why the range of integer is lies between this? For signed int the range is this one. For unsigned it it is between uh, this one. See for integer suppose uh, I am taking two bytes. For storage integer uh, will take two byte. So one byte means eight bits. These are 2 bytes, means 8 bits and 8 bits. So the lowest number can be 0. Like I am putting 0 in every bit, right? And the highest number can be because binary, uh, the, the computer understand the language of zeros and ones. So we store everything in form of zeros and ones. So highest number can be in every cell we can put 1. So this is the highest number. So this is corresponding to 0 and this number will be 65535. You can find out this number. The number system, when we will discuss number system, then we will discuss how to convert a decimal number or integer into uh, that uh, binary language, zeros and one forms. So that is why the range is from zero to this one, because the size of integer is two bytes. So within these, those using those two bytes, we cannot store a number in unsigned int less than zero and greater than this one. But 
if it comes to signed integers means we can store positive value as well as negative value right so if you divide this by 2 then that would be this number the round off number it would be this one so from 0 to negative we have we will take minus 1 minus 2 and up to minus 3 2 7 6 8 but this side the range is 3 2 7 6 7 why because we are also including 0 in positive integers that is why this side we have till 6 7 and this side we have till 6 8 that is why the range is this one because of the size I hope you got my point right now let me discuss it with a program and if I represent this range this one and this one in a circular form will represent it in a circular form then you will get a better understanding why you are getting different answer from the value you have initialized in your program right Suppose I am taking this one for unsigned int. For unsigned int, the, that uh, format specifier is percentage u. This is for unsigned int. I am representing it unsigned int. So from 0 to 0, 1, 2, and till 6, 5, 5, 3, 5, right? 6, 5, 5, 3, 4. This one, right? Now, next one is suppose I am representing it this circle for signed int. So, from 0 to 1 value would be the positive value would be till 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. This side I am taking positive values and this anti-clockwise I am taking negative value. So, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on and here you will get minus 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. Here we will have minus 3, 2, 7, 6, 7 and so on. Here we will have 3, 2, 7, 6, 6. I hope you are getting the circle. right? Now let us take one example and assign some values to integer. Suppose I am writing this a simple program. Why you are including stdi.h? Because I am using printf here. The definition, you can say the declaration, uh, the meaning of this is where in this library, right? And why are you are including conio.h console input output? Because of this function get ch and clrsr. This is for clear screen. And always in C we use clear, clear screen function after the declaration of the variables, right? Here we are declaring a variable and initializing the variable in the same statement. So after that we will write CLRSCR. If you write before this, you will get an error. So now I am going to put a value. See, first of all the control will go when you execute this program. The control will go first of all the first line within the main function. Always execution would be started from main function. First line is int a is equal to this one. It means I am declaring a variable. So, in memory, a space would be allocated to this one. And the name of that location is a. Variable is named memory location. Suppose location is, I don't know, address is suppose 1000. Right. Now, we have to put something here. Now, we are initializing this one. I want to put this value here. Right. This is what integer. So, now, see, it is if I am not writing signed or unsigned int, then by default it is signed integer. We can store positive value as well as negative value within this box, within, in this memory, right. So now it is signed one. So go for this one, 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. Within this circle, do you have this number? Yes, I have 3, 2, 7, 6, 7, the range. So this number is within this range, right. So. 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. It would be stored in memory. And then when you will print this value, print f percentage d percentage d format specifier, this is going to play a very important role. Right? You will get to know uh, in this uh, video only. Percentage d means you are going to print integer value. Integer and you can say that uh, signed integer value because for unsigned we are taking format specifier percentage u. For this one signed, we are taking percentage D and for short integer also you can use this one percentage D or percentage HD, both are correct, right. For unsigned, it's percentage U. So, it is for signed integer, right. Now, next value is what is A. So, from where the compiler, the control uh, will fetch that data from this memory location and at this memory location, we have 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. So, the output would be this one only 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. You are getting same output. You are initializing this one and you are getting same output. Now, let us take a different case. If I am writing here 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. Now, what will happen? See, it is signed integer. So, 
this has been uh, the, the data has been uh, you know memory has been initialized to a so according to signed integer see this 32768 check out it is within range or not the range is up to 32767 it is out of range but it will not give you error right because it will initialize here what value after this one we have what minus 32768 so if we increase one like 32767 and this is what 32768 according to our circle so this value would be assigned minus 32768 would be assigned to this a so now when you will print this one what value would be printed see when you will print like percentage d means you are pre printing what signed int for unsigned we will use percentage u so here the value of a what would be the output this you will get output minus 32768 because in memory this has been stored right the output will not be taken from this line because the function of this line is what just to allocate memory to this variable and store whatever you have given but the stored value is this one so from memory it will go it is going to fetch so from here it is going to fetch now output would be minus 32768 but you have initialized this one so this is what you can say for you it's some garbage value it's not correct but it is not giving you error and suppose if you will print here percentage u and a so this is what u is for unsigned integer so check to this circle that is unsigned integer now here while printing percentage u the value would be assigned this one only because it is what signed here if we have signed integer so this value would be assigned it will check this circle now here percentage u so it is for unsigned int so now check while printing the format specifier is this one and this is very important so now we will check while printing this value right so now check here we have minus this value or not here we don't have any minus sign but you can say somewhere their value would be like 32767 32768 32769 and up to we have this value so now check this one 32767 and here we have 32768 minus 32768 but corresponding to minus here we have what positive value only 32768 so here it will give 32768 answer not minus value because format specifier is percentage u if you will not get this one let me take one another example let us suppose you want to store 32770 this is what i am not writing anything so this is signed integer so now in a memory space has been allocated to this a now check in signed integer do you have this value 32770 no this is out of range but it will not give you error it will put something in this memory but what it will store here see up to this one we have 767 this is 768 769 and minus 32766 this is corresponding to 770 so this value would be store minus 32766 right 67 68 69 70 70 so this minus but sign is minus in this circle because this value is not in this range so this would be stored when you will print with percentage d then percentage d means signed integer in signed integer do we have this value yes we have this value so it will fetch directly this value so output of this line would be this one but suppose if you are printing it with percentage u that is unsigned integer so now value would be stored this one but while accessing the value it is percentage u it means unsigned int it will follow this circle do we have this value in this circle what is the value corresponding to this one we don't have minus sign so corresponding to this in this circle we have only 32770 only so it would be printed for percentage u right because see this circle and this circle is almost same you can check out here up to 67 here would be the same number and after 67 68 but sign would be positive only because it is unsigned then 69 then 70 so corresponding to this in this one here we will have 70 only so it will print 70 right but suppose if you are taking here long int so the range of long int is what it's beyond the, that this range in the previous video you can check out the table 
so this would be within the range because we are taking long end so both in case of percentage d and percentage u it will print this only because number would be stored as it is 32770 because of that range we are having this number within the range so that would be same output suppose if here i am taking int a 655 not 655 i am taking suppose uh, minus 10 and then i am printing with percentage d and percentage u then what should be the output what will we would be stored here in a a is minus 10 it is signed integer in signed integer do you have minus 10 yes we have minus 10 because both minus plus value we have so minus 10 would be stored when we will print with format specifier percentage d it means it is for signed integer definitely it is going to print minus 10 when we will print with percentage u this format specifier is what it is going to print unsigned value but this is signed so corresponding to this what is value in this unsigned circle in mi minus 10 if we go reverse then it is corresponding to minus 1 it is corresponding to minus 2 like this the value corresponding to minus 10 that would be printed and that value is what 65526 so you are initializing minus 10 but you are getting answer this one that is why the reason you are getting different answer maybe but suppose in long in time printing uh, this number 7777 so what would be the output we are using long and this number is within the range right so the same output would be printed percentage d percentage u it will print this number only right and if you initialize suppose int a is equal to 0 then both will print here and here both will print 0 and 0 here also we have zero here also we have zero right both in signed and unsigned so whether you will print with this format specifier or this it will give you zero and if suppose you specify here unsigned int so now you are specifying particularly unsigned int and you are storing minus sign that is signed uh, that uh, this is a signed number so now memory would be allocated to a and what number would be stored here in unsigned integer check out this one corresponding to this value what should be the value minus 32767 here somewhere we have 32767 then 32768 right now according to that here we have minus 32767 now corresponding to this value what should be the value in this uh, unsigned circle it's 32769 right Because here seven six seven six eight six nine, right? And this is what exactly minus three two seven six seven. This one is minus three two seven six seven. So in this circle corresponding to this, we will get three two seven six nine. This value would be assigned, right? Now when you will print with percentage d, means percentage d signed integer. Now check this value is while printing it is for signed integer. So while printing we are fetching from this from here from memory only. So now refer it will refer signed integer circle. So check this value is within this integer or not. This is not. So corresponding to this value, what is the value here? Six seven six eight six nine. This value. So here it will print minus three two seven six seven. And if you will print with percentage u, it will print this value three two seven six nine. Because while printing with percentage u, it will refer to this circle. And in this circle, do we have this value? Yes, we will have this value, so it will print this one, right? So see here you are assigning unsigned int this value, but when you are printing with unsigned number, then you are getting different answer from the initialization value because the range, because of the range, right? According to that, you can check out the short integer range also, and according to that, you can check out the long integer range also. You you just have to practice this thing. It's not like that. just watching youtube videos and just by seeing these lectures yeah you got it no you have to practice with your own hand try to initialize different different values and try to find out what should be the answer before you're getting answer on your system dry run that program with these two circles signed int unsigned int and find out output with your own hand then check with your system then compile and run and then check with your system and tell your answer is correct or not right so maybe next video we'll discuss about care everything we have discussed about in that thing we'll discuss about character with some examples right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care